Today we're going to create a deck of cards and I think it's good practice for you to understand for loops. I don't think we've talked about enough stuff yet to write a full card game, but I believe in starting small and we're just going to get the first step done. So here is a full deck of cards. We got 13 cards in the row and four suits. Multiply that, that is 52 in total. We don't have the joker. We can always add it later. For this video, we're going to have 52 cards. Let's start with the basics. I'm going to start with an enum with four suits. First, let me make sure that we're using C17. And I'm going to start with the enum class. Call it suits. We have clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. We also have individual card names. So I'm going to call it enum hard names. And just like the picture, I'm going to start with the ace, go all the way to the king, start with the ace, two, three, just keep going, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and king. So this is 13 cards. Ace could either be one or, or 11 in terms of blackjack. So one, two is two, three, four, go all the way up to 10, jack, queen, king. In blackjack, for example, jack and queen and king, these are all tens, but enums we get 11, 12, 13. Don't worry about this because I'm gonna have a separate integer to express card values. So when we think of a card, I'm going to create a struct called card. So this is one object. A card has a name. It's also got the suit. It's also got a value. In terms of blackjack, jack, queen, and king, the value would be 10. And the rest would have the same value as the enum numbers except for ace could either be one or 11. We're gonna deal with this later. For now, let me continue with, with the code. Let me create another object. This time I'm gonna call it a deck. And as you know, a deck has many cards. So a deck has cards. I'm gonna call it array of cards. You know, this could be any other data type that contains a lot of cards. In this case, I'm just using an array. It's an array of 52 cards. Back in our main, I'm going to create a deck. And I should have some sort of a function for the deck. Call it setup cards. And this is where we instantiate all of the cards. So create the deck, call the function called setup cards. And now we're going to go through every possible card and create them. I'm going to use a for loop. Make sure you check out the previous videos in this playlist because I've already talked about double for loops. So I'm going to first start with the suits. I'm going to start with the lowest number, which was clubs. Turn this into an integer. Okay, so we're starting with zero. We're going to go all the way up to the last one, which is spades. And also notice how I used this sign. We're going to start with zero, which is clubs, and we're going to go all the way up to three, which is spades. And then we go through every single card in the row. So another for loop. For int, I'm going to just use another random letter, K. Let's start with the lowest card name in terms of the enum. Ace was the first one. And we're going to go all the way up to the king. Okay, so now we have a double for loop, which is kind of like a grid. It goes through every single card combination in the deck. So this is the same setup as what we saw in the picture. The order starts with the club in our case, but it's the exact same grid. So we're running through the entire grid, and on every single one of them, we're going to create 
a new card. And let me just make this a little clearer. Columns. Columns. And this is rows. Row. Okay. And for every single card, we set up the suit. We get the suit from the column. Convert it to the enum. And the same thing with the card name. So if we look at the enum again, we're going through every single enum clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, and we designate this to every single card. We also go through every card name, designate each card with the name. The value is going to be a little tricky. If the suit is, oops, I mean the card name. If the card name is a jack, it's a 10. So the value for this is 10, else if, if we get a queen, that's also a 10. If we get a king, again, that's a 10. And then the rest, we're just gonna follow the enum. So the value is gonna equal the value in the enum, we just turn it into an integer. And again, we're going to deal with the ace later. For now, just for testing, let me print this out. I'm going to get the, the name of the card, integer, of some suit. So again, I'm going to get the integer of the suit. Okay, so back in our main, we set up the cards, F5. Okay, just like our picture, we go from one all the way to the king. So zero is the spades here. We're gonna change this into actual words later, so don't worry about this. So one, two, three, four rows of all the suits, just like the picture except we've expressed it in integers. Now let's put it all into the array. So we have the array of cards, and for every card that's been created, we're gonna put it into the array. So array of cards, we're gonna get some sort of an index number, int index, and we put the card into the index of the array. The question is, how do we get the index? For example, it's very simple. So let's say we're getting an index for this card right here. So starting from uh, the ace, we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we have more cards here. We have three rows, or 0, 1, 2. What we do is get the total number in our row, which is 13. This is on the index number two in terms of the column. Multiply that by two, that would equal 26. And this is five, so 26 plus five equals 31. And if you count this manually, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, it matches. So in terms of the code, we do the same thing. We have total number of 13 for our row, multiply that by the number of columns, and we simply add the row index number, which will give you the, the overall index number for the, the exact card that we're looking for. That's the index, and we put the card into that index. So at the end of the function, let me put a breakpoint here, run the debugger. 
Okay, here's our array. And we should have 52 cards in total. Okay, 0 to 51, which is 52 cards. So we're done creating the cards. Now let me set up a function to print it nicely on our console window. For our card, I'm going to have a function called print suit. So if the suit is clubs, we're going to say clubs, else if we do the same thing if it's diamonds, we say diamonds, hearts, we say hearts, spades, we say spades. And for the deck, I'm going to have a function called something like print all. We're just going to go through every single card and call the print print function. Let's say print all. And let me copy paste the same for loop, except we're not going to be creating the cards anymore. We get the index. And for every index, I'm going to say print suit. And let me add a line here just to separate them. Okay, if I press F, wait, before I press F5, I'm going to say print all. Let me also add a line here just to make it look nice. F5. Okay, looks like we got an error message. I made a very serious mistake here. Ace doesn't start with zero, it starts with one. So let me add a minus one here. Same thing with the index here. Now let me press F5. Okay, we have it working. We have the four suits, ace to kings. Okay, we have all the suits here, we're printing them in a very ugly manner. When we say print all, we don't just want the suits, we want the values and everything else. So let me create another function called print value as well as print card. And inside our print card, we're going to print value and then say of the suit, print suit, and then add a line. And when we print value, if the card name is a jack, then we do we print out a 10. Else if if it's a queen, again we print out a 10. If it's a king, we still print out a 10. And for everything else, we print out the actual enum. Wait, the value is not an enum, it's an integer, so we can just do a C out. And I think we're almost done. So when we go through every single card in print all, instead of just printing the suit, I want to print out the whole card, use this function. Okay, F5. Okay, looks pretty nice, except 
instead of the 10, I'm going to say jack. And this depends on how you set up your game. So for this case, I'm just going to print out words instead of the value to match the picture that we have, this picture, just to make it look exactly the same or the same grid. Okay, first we create every single card. When we first create, we have the enums that represent each of the suits. Uh, clubs has zero, diamonds ones, hearts twos, spades are threes, and we convert that, one of clubs, two, three, jack of clubs, queens of clubs, same thing with diamonds, hearts, and spades. So we have all the cards and we can also print them out and print them however you want to really. But the entire structure is exactly the same as what we see here with the different order of, co of course. And let me also add ace, the actual word. So when we have an ace, instead of saying one, I'm going to say ace f5 okay you can set this up however you want to but the point is going through four loops to create every single card in the deck printing it depends on what your game is so we've finished creating a deck we have every card in the deck without the joker yet and later in this playlist we can also add the joker we can also shuffle the deck use different data structures like vectors uh, deal the cards and, and eventually come up with an entire card game so that's it for this video if you have any questions you can reach me on my discord server i have all the links below thanks for watching see you next time